Hello, I'm Chris. This is Zach. We're with Republic Manufacturing, and we're here today to talk to you about some advancements in regenerative blowers. So it's my understanding that regenerative blower technology and the design of it hasn't changed for about 10 years. Is that right, Zach? That's right. Maybe more. Yep. Decades. Yep. Um, we have a service and repair department, and when we repair these, what's the number one failure? Well, it's almost always this, this outer bearing right here. Okay, and so because of that, we've changed the design. So walk us through the old one, and we can get an idea of what the differences are between the old and the new one. Okay, so this is a two-stage regenerative blower. What happens is the air comes in to the first stage, which is the one closest to the motor. So this is the cool air, and then it, as it goes down, it regenerates or builds pressure, and that creates heat. And then it goes into the second, second stage to continue building pressure, and that creates more heat. The problem is this second stage is right up against this bearing, and so that causes that bearing to run in a really hot condition. Okay, so let's go take a look at the new design. So we've obviously swapped the, uh, the heat stages, so walk us through this one. Okay, so what this one does is just very simply swap the two stages, so the air coming in comes into this uh, first stage, now the first stage. It's cooler it, air, right? It's cooler air, so that's building compression as it goes around, and then it goes into the second stage, uh, so you've got much cooler air running right up against this bearing. Okay, great. And so when you say much cooler air, how, how much have we dropped the temperature? Yeah, well, we've done internal testing and we found it to be 35 degrees or more uh, Fahrenheit. Okay, so I know we've done a ton of research when it came to our RBX blower on grease life and all that. What's this done to the grease life? Right, that's a good question. What I thought for years was that when you had a maximum temperature on grease, let's say that's 230 degrees Fahrenheit, I thought the grease was just good up to 230 degrees. That's not actually the case. As you get closer to that maximum temperature, the grease life decreases exponentially. So you can, uh, you can drop the temperature by 35 degrees and maybe increase your grease life by four times. Wow, that's a big deal. Now we've moved the hotter stage closer to the motor. Is there a downside of this? No, um, we've done a lot of testing with this and we've had all good results, uh, but we've got a, um, a cooler bearing now here, and then our other bearing is the one all the way over on the other side of the motor. And we've got a motor fan uh, pushing air past these, uh, uh, the, the ex uh, aluminum extrusions on the motor that are pulling heat out of there. And then on this uh, second stage, which is the hot stage, you've got a tremendous amount of air going right up against there, carrying the heat away. There's a gap in here too, what's that? Yeah, the other thing we did is we've got a gap between these two stages. So instead of the heat transferring from the hot stage into the cool stage, we've got this gap that allows the air to vent to atmosphere. All right, so you've seen there's a lot of changes that have been made. This old design has been being made for decades and it's kind of been the industry standard. Most people make it pretty similar to this. Um, we learned a lot from repairing these blowers and having the bearing failures that we've came up with this new design. And so this new design is going to be much more efficient, um, it's going to last longer, and uh, it's going to save you time and make you money. So, you know, please look to Republic for all your blower needs. Thank you.